Hi guys, this is Derek Kanijo and welcome to my podcast. I want to take you back in time to the dot com bubble. So in 1999 there was a company that was led by its founder whom is probably one of the greatest businessmen ever. This company had never lost money in any year. That year it did 20 billion dollars in sales and made 7.8 billion dollars in profits. That's a 39% profit margin. So just an incredible business. Its profit margins could be cut in half and it would still be an above average business. That business of course was Microsoft. The problem was that the business was valued at 620 billion dollars which translated to 31 times sales and 79 times earnings. This is an extremely fancy price even for such an extraordinary business such as Microsoft. What happened next was that from 1999 to 2016 the share price went nowhere because the sales and earnings multiple contracted. So no business no matter how wonderful is worth an infinite price. When investing in today's high growth companies, keep in mind that multiple compression is very possible and we are seeing some of that right now. Furthermore, most of the fast growth companies today don't have economics like Microsoft. Microsoft was a, was a fantastic business right from the start and still is. In general, it is very unlikely that a business that started out with bad economics will turn into a business with great economics. I want to share with you a quote from Scott McNeely who was the CEO of Sun Microsystems during the dot com mania. This is what he said about his company's share price. At 10 times revenue to give you a 10 year payback, I have to pay you 100% of revenues for 10 straight years in dividends. That assumes I have zero cost of goods sold, that assumes I pay no taxes, that assumes zero R&D. Now would any of you like to buy my stock at $64? Do you realize how ridiculous those basic assumptions are? What were you thinking? And of course, my takeaway from Scott McNeely's quote is that you want to avoid paying high multiples of sales, cash flows and profits for businesses. There are very few businesses that you can buy into at a very high valuation and still have the investment work out. That's all for today. Subscribe if you enjoyed. Thank you so much for listening.